It's over 6,000 miles away, yet Machu Picchu has a historical connection to Hawaii. KITV4 photographer Nathan Sirota shows us how that's just one of the many mysteries surrounding the Peruvian ruins. The lost city of the Incas, it was called, and yet Machu Picchu was never really lost, just hidden. Its isolation and abandonment have created a mystery still debated by archaeologists today. Researchers do agree the first of the granite stones was put into place nearly six centuries ago at the height of the Inca Empire, possibly as part of the estate of Emperor Pachacuti. Perched precipitously between the Machu Picchu and Huayna Picchu Mountains, the citadel was a natural fort, or prison as some scientists suggest. The techniques used to transport the great stones over distances carve them into perfectly fitting blocks, and place them on top of each other rival modern masonry. Royal Inca style, stone over stone without mortar in between. That's right, no mortar, no glue, just stone upon stone. How many people live here is difficult to tell you. Probably we can say that in different houses we have five, seven, but this is bigger than that one. The discovery of Machu Picchu in 1911 by Hawaii-born Hiram Bingham raised more questions and answered few. How did the Incas develop their architecture, their terraced farmlands and irrigation system? Were the inhabitants captured, or did they deliberately desert their mountaintop? There is not much time to solve the mysteries. The World Monuments Fund names Machu Picchu as one of the most endangered sites on the globe. The environmental effects of tourism are eating away the ruins, perhaps leaving the lost city shrouded in mystery forever. Nice job shooting that, Nate. This is one of the places where you kind of have to at least once go and, and see. It's really yeah. remarkable. Mm -hmm. You must feel real tranquil when you're there as well. <laughs> when you are, there. and it's even a little bit spooky because you're um, so high up. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and you're yeah you're a little dizzy too because the the altitude is. Yeah, uh, and he said that it's no mortar, just rock. I, yeah, I'll be afraid for those things to fall on me. Ancient engineering, <laughs> you know. Remarkable. Yeah.